you've got people like Jim has taken so much shit publicly on the chin, maintaining complete silence about his rationale, except with one mission in mind, which is keep the sport going in the healthiest way possible that's most inclusive for the most number of people because he knows the importance of having a place where kids that don't fit in in other sports can come, but also the importance of having it be an Olympic sport, which skateboarders shit on too. And so this isn't about skateboarding, I wanna make very clear. It's about Jim and the fact that he understands his sense of purpose, his sense of duty, he knew well enough that even though he was a professional skateboarder, that he would better serve the community by doing something else, which is to be a leader. He leads quietly. Like I think about him all the time. So do they know how much I appreciate them? There's no way. I could go on for hours about him, the things he's done for me. Anyone that knows that sport or knows Jim knows exactly what I'm talking about. He'll never have a podcast. He'll never go on a podcast. Maybe he'll bless us with coming on my podcast. But some people like him, like I hope they, people like him in my life, and I hope they know. But there's no card you can send that can capture all that. I think it's just like checking in on, on him every morning and just, you know, giving him a big hug when I see him, you know.